shake my nerves and you rattle my brain You give me love that I can't explain You broke my will, but oh what a thrill Goodness gracious, great balls of fire I laughed in love cause I thought it was funny You came around and moved me honey You changed my mind, oh your love is kind Goodness gracious, great balls of fire Kiss me baby Love us should. You're fine. So kind. I wanna tell you that you're mine. I chew my nails and I twiddle my thumb. You make me nervous, but you're so fine. Come on, baby, drive me crazy. Goodness gracious. So that was wonderful. Can I get a light up? Yeah. Oh my goodness, thank you. Well, hello, Mandalay. It's me, Sparky Lingwater of the Atlanta Lingwaters. Always such a pleasure to be here with y'all. Thank you again for having me. How are y'all doing tonight? Thank you, thank you. How about you? You're pretty handsome. Yeah, you. You ever been with a cross-dressing marionette before? Well, meet me at the bar after the show. You're in for a treat. I was so pleased to hear that Kit had come out of the closet as a pyromaniac. I, too, have long been uh, a bit of a pyro. You see, I think the best way to get over a heartbreak, and Lord knows I've had to get over a few, uh, is arson and homicide. And not necessarily in that order. Sometimes it's nice to burn their house down first and let them know that they've truly lost everything before you finish them all. So gather around, children. I want to sing y'all an educational song about it. Let's hear it, boys. Spinning tires ain't made for 
for stopping I'm giving up on love Giving up on me I gave it everything I had For a lie, cheating really ain't a crime I'm soaking in kerosene Light them up, watch them burn Teach them what they need to learn ha. Dirty hands ain't made for shaking Ain't a rule that ain't worth breaking I'm giving up on love Smoking gun. I found somewhere to lay my blame the day she changed her last name. Well, I'm giving up on love, cause love's giving up on me. Well, I'm giving up on love, hey, love's giving up on me. children. It's not too late for y'all to give up on love either. See you at the bar after the show. Thank you, Sparkle Ling Water. Ah! Yes! I didn't know you liked fire so much. Oh my god! I do! I love fire so much, I've recently come to terms with the fact that I like to destroy everything in my life by burning it. I have a confession. What is it? I like fire too. You like fire? Are you gonna sing a song about it? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tracy McDowell. <laughs>
because I always knew that when I really loved someone, I mean really loved them, the way I could tell was because I wanted to set their things on fire. And then it just progressed to set them on fire, or their wife on fire, because I'm a cold-hearted bitch, and I need something to keep me warm at night. We're gonna sing a song about it. Hopefully I remember to the lyrics to this one, but <laughs> I've had a lot of drinks. Know that I would be untrue, know that I would be a liar if I was to say to you I didn't set your house on fire, but it's just the way I am, have to take it for a fact. Life can really burn you up when you're a pyromaniac, cause if you love somebody better set them on fire. I went to your house last night, your wife called me a human torch, got a little pissed at her, so I burned down your front porch. Now I feel a little bad about throwing gas on your wife, but you know it's hard to quit, besides she started it. If you love somebody better set them on fire. I just got a brand new lighter and I just can't wait to use it with a can of kerosene. It's lots of fun, you can't refuse it. Oily rags are special things. You know to me they're diamond rings. Maybe we can have some fun. Maybe we can burn some wine. So if you love somebody, better set them on fire. Know that I will be untrue. Know that I will be a liar. If I was to say to you I didn't set your car on fire. If you love somebody. If you love somebody better, set them on fire. See, I got really slow at the end, so you knew I was being very serious. <laughs> and delicate like a flower. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I remembered all the words. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It's a hard task, you know. Elizabeth Lindsay, everybody, this is my sister-in-law. Elizabeth Lindsay. Okay, I'm just so excited that you have embraced your pyromaniac tendencies. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm actually honestly more of a fan of the other fires you like to start, the ones that get me a little bit of um, hot and bothered. Elizabeth, we can talk about this later in my hotel room. Friction. <laughs> I was actually thinking I might sing a song about it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Lindsay. Let's see if I can remember the lyrics. I have a history of not remembering my lyrics. Let's move this up. All right. Touch me, turn me on, and burn me down.
burn me down. <laughs> I remember that. So long ago. Well, I wrote a little play back there when, because you just inspired me so much of our days when we were actresses. And I thought maybe we could read it for the audience and they could give us some feedback. I would like that very much. Kit. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put... I don't know if we could, Should we each have a Acting microphone? Takes two hands. Let's take another microphone. Yes. All right, let's do that. <laughs> then you can hear us both, although there might be a lot of screaming involved. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Help! I'm turning into fire. Look at my hands. They've become flames. You're getting hotter. I'm hot. You're so hot, you're burning up. Fire transformation! Dramatic look. <laughs> Obviously, that's the next Pulitzer Prize winning play called yeah. Backdraft. Kate, you're so good. Part two, forward draft. <laughs> or oh, backdraft again. I like forward back draft. to the future draft. <laughs> so, that's not on the script. Yet. All right. Not a lot of this is on the script. But okay, so now we need some help from the audience. So, we're going to do it again, but you have to tell us how we're going to do it. So be a casting director, like a pretend you're like a big fancy casting director or agent that happened to stumble into Amanda like a bar, oh please God, let them be in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm teasing. Um, not really. <laughs> Who's got a suggestion Anyone. though, please? Yeah. Anything, anything. We're Bumblebee. gonna do it any way you want, what? Mournful. Mournful? Okay. Like we were at a funeral or something like that? Okay. Help. I'm turning into fire. <laughs> Look at my hands. They've become flames. <laughs> You're getting hotter. I'm hot. <laughs> You're so hot. You're burning up. Oh, you transformation. <sighs> okay, that wasn't too bad. I didn't mind that one. <laughs> What, anybody else go to wait? You want to give us a suggestion? 90s sitcom. 90s sitcom. Can we get a theme? Can we get some theme music for our 90s sitcom? I like that one. Well, Kit and Elizabeth, hey sister-in-laws that live in an overpriced apartment in New York City. Probably we don't have jobs, yeah, right? Or no. work in a coffee shop. Or yeah, something. we work in a coffee shop. Life is hard. Fabulous. Okay. Help! I'm turning into fire. Oh no. Look at my hands. They become flames. <sighs> You're getting hotter. Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> You're so hot. You're burning up. Um, fire transformation. <laughs> oh, I've 
track. <laughs> laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it one more time. Superheroes. Okay, let's do it. Help! I'm turning into fire. Yes. Look at my hands. They become flames. You're getting hotter. <laughs> You're so hot. You're burning up. Fire transformation. <laughs> and sing. <laughs> Thank you for playing along with us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Lindsay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, now that we've completely burned all of that into your brains and hearts, and figuratively burned the mandolin down, so to speak, all that's left is a pile of black ash. Everything is destroyed. Q-Line, everything is destroyed. Doesn't mean everything's destroyed. Oh, are you gonna sing a song about it? You know I am. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan.